Let me just say right at the outset, I believe Dr. Ford, I believe the survivor here. There's every reason to believe her. She has come forward courageously and bravely, knowing that she would face a nightmare of hostile and vicious scrutiny and challenge. We should not be rushing to judgment with a sham hearing on Monday. There are corroborating witnesses, and they too must be called, including Mark Judge, who was allegedly in the room, and the therapist who counseled Dr. Blasey Ford in 2012, and other expert witnesses who would both be an expert in sexual assault and crimes, trauma, and PTSD associated with the survivor being attacked. It is shameful that the Senate Judiciary Committee plans on repeating the ugly piece of history by doing to Dr. Blasey Ford exactly what they did to Anita Hill by putting her on the stand alone. What are they afraid of getting? Are they afraid of the truth? This rush job to bring a hearing with very few witnesses and no independent determination of fact is an insult to the American people. The Republican leadership has completely disrespected this survivor. They have summoned her to a hearing without consulting her as to the date, without even apparently contacting her directly. She may well have learned about it through the press. Scheduling a hearing for Monday, a week from when Dr. Ford made her accusations public, is a shameful attempt to jam this through without giving anyone the time they need to investigate and put together the questions that need to be asked. This is what happened in 1991 when the Senate got information in the middle of a process, a hearing was jammed in just days later, and you know what? I hoped we could do better 27 years later. Women are watching. We are not going to allow that to happen again. The men in this country and the men in this committee, and many of them, believe me, because we all signed on to this letter to uh, demand an FBI investigation, but really, guess who's perpetuating all of these kinds of actions? It's the men in this country, and I just want to say to the men in this country, just shut up and step up. Do the right thing.